How's it going everyone? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video I'm gonna go over how myself and a few of my Discord server members were able to find a child abductor social media account in about 10 minutes. So this is a real example uh, and this was going to be PNC, but now it's not PNC because the child is safe and it's publicly known and all that stuff. So um, I'm just going to use the person that is suspected of taking the, a child, abducting a child, and kind of how we found this person's social media because it wasn't as easy as we thought. We had to use some techniques and I want to share those techniques so you can then take that and use those in your future investigations. So right here so there was a missing persons tweet sent out by washington state missing persons which we will do this they might have one that says like oh tweet deleted or whatever yeah this one so this basically without the alert canceled thing came up i was notified while i was out shopping saying child abduction so immediately i left what i was doing and started a pnc conversation on my Discord, which is privileged and confidential, meaning that uh, certain members are able to communicate about an active case where someone's life could be at risk. In this case, it was a 10-month-old child. Um, so this is the information we got. We got a guy named Real Reality B. Jordan, 23 years of age, 5'7", 145 pounds, all of this stuff. And then we have the child himself, or the child themselves. Obviously, the child's not going to have social media, so... That's kind of a lost cause. So we went directly after the person that abducted this child. An Amber Alert was sent out, um, which is an official alert that gets sent to everyone's phones in the area about a missing child. It's a, an alert that's sent out when a child is at risk. So the benefits of this particular case is that this person has a very unique name, uh, Reality Jordan. Very unique name. Um, so we went ahead and did some initial work on trying to find some information. We had, um, <clears throat> someone on my discord black cage, I believe that's, who was able to find some, um, uh, uh, initial information. So the first thing we got was their huddle profile, which you can see on my screen right here. Huddle is a recruiting service for athletes in high school to be scouted by college people. We're able to cross reference the height, weight, all that, the graduating class, um, and all that, it matched up. Um, next thing we found was their Facebook account, which is actually not their like real Facebook account, but it was a pivot point for us. So this is the Facebook account we found and potentially a, uh, LinkedIn. Um, I don't think this is them, but it is what it is. These are the really the only two bits of information we had. So I then told the people on the Discord chat uh, to like, hey, well, we got a friends list. Let's start going down this rabbit hole. I used Vertimo as well to track my work. Um, but I went through the friends list and what I ended up doing, and I started having problems on Instagram on my uh on my computer. So I, I went ahead and started doing a screen record on my phone. And what I started doing was I started taking people's names in the friends list that had like a unique name, like a name, like, um, like let's say Jordan Alexander. I don't know. Just like, a, like almost a Jane Doe, John Doe sort of situation. Um, I forget the name I chose in here. Um, but I looked them up on Instagram and then from there, I looked on their following and followers list and then ended up finding the guy's Instagram handle, <clears throat> which he has an alias that you would have never been able to like guess. It's not like it wasn't like real Jones or anything like that. Like <laughs> I'll get to that in a sec, but the guy's name, the friend that I ended up finding um, is a name listed on here somewhere. And then I went to, let's see, I think I went to followers or following. And from here, um, if you're going on a public Instagram account, I'm not going to show it cause this guy's not, you know, wanted or anything like that. Uh, the friend that listed on here, uh, you can either go to followers or following, and then you can search for names and stuff like there. So I think what I did was I typed in, yeah, so I then went to the following 
of this person's account, which they have 1,700 following, and I found the name Reality on there. And I click on it, and it's that guy's account, which is The Prince Reality, um, which is right here. You could see it right there. That's the guy's Instagram. Uh, doesn't have his last name or anything like that, but uh, from there, we were able to confirm uh, with photos that that is indeed him right there. And um, uh, he has a artist page on Instagram. I'm not sure, like, what... Maybe it's drawings or something like that. He also has a link tree. Um, and the name that he goes by on every social media is Peng Wang Lewis. I'm not kidding you. Um, and that's like Snapchat, all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, we got that. But an another tactic I could have gone down is like, let's say that this friends list was not um, public. That would have been a real big roadblock for us. So in the case of having something like Huddle, what I would have done is like Cleveland High School Boys Varsity Football Team. There is um, there's a website out there. I forgot what it's called, but it has stats and rosters of teams. Um, it might be Huddle. I'm, I'm not sure. The, the name will get to me. That's the site I'm thinking of, Max Preps. So Max Preps is another like recruiting... Re that's a hard word for me to say. Recruiting like website thing. So we'll do this. And what I would do is I would find the kind of the roster on that team. Cleveland High School. We'll do Washington State. Search Cleveland Eagles. Boom. And then he played football. So we'll go down to varsity football. And then you can go by year um, right here. So like he was 2018. So he would have played um, this year right there. And like we have a photo of him somewhere in this photo right there. And um, we have all of these different names that then we can pivot on, start searching Facebook or start searching Instagram uh, and eventually you'll get to a lead. Um, so I just want to share those tactics and techniques that we did to find a, uh, that honestly, this video is longer than it actually took us to find this guy's entire social media footprint. Um, from there, if like the police were still trying to find like some semblance of social media or something like that, we would have turned that over, but by the time we actually found it, the child was found. So at the end of the day, it's a bummer that we didn't find this guy before the police and all that. But honestly, a child is safe. It's all that matters. So anyways, that is it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Uh, links are down in the description per usual. The Ascension. Uh, affiliate code and cyber one intel to get a full report about yourself on the dark web as well as surface net um, you can find some interesting stuff on there so use the affiliate links down below check them out the ascension has a lot of great courses on there both free and paid definitely check them out if you use the links down below helps the channel out a ton anyways that is it for this video y'all take care goodbye <laughs>